Subhashi, my next question is to, I mean, I'm, I'm going to switch gears and come back to your home uh, ground, which is science. Um, I, I remember reading an article of yours uh, on Newton. Uh, I found that very interesting where you sp spoke of certain uh, aspects of him or his life, which um, I think you called it the dark side of Newton or something. Um, would you care to talk a little bit just briefly about him? Because I want to bring this up because, uh, you know, again, in, in tying up with what we just spoke earlier, how in India we tend to revere <clears throat> Western men of science, uh, not really knowing much about, you know, the the truth, actually. So could you talk a little bit about Newton, what, what I think most people don't know or are un un unaware of? Well, um, sometimes Newton is seen as the harbinger of the scientific age. Hmm. And uh, here he saw uh, the cosmos as a clockwork and hmm. uh, gravitation and physical laws, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, <coughs> science took off, Newton and Leibniz and many others. But um, we often speak of Newtonian um, physics, and that is supposed to be <coughs> a departure <clears throat> let's say from the way within the narratives in India, from the way uh, physics was done in India. Now, they, uh, but I think um, 70 or 80 years ago, uh, it was discovered uh, that much more than his own physics, he had been writing on alchemy. And these books had been hidden because and they, the English elite didn't want the rest of the world to know what Newton had actually spent most of his life doing. Right. And in this, uh, Newton had the most backward ideas and he was uh, looking at, uh, um, you know, a literal uh, interpretation of the test, Old Testament and the New Testament. And he believed that the world was going to end in 2012 or something. Well, yeah, and right. Didn't. Or if it didn't end that soon, maybe 2065. Or, you know, this is biblical chronology, which goes back to the creation of the universe in 4004 BCE and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So a lot of this stuff uh, <laughs> was sort of religious mumbo jumbo. Mm -hmm. and, um, and this is more, many times more than um, what his physics had been. And of course, we should praise his physics. But um, Again, um, to talk about his physics, what's interesting is that, um, and this is something that I wrote a book on uh, five, six years ago, I went back to the very earliest Indian physics, and mm -hmm. that's Kanada. And Kanada, mm -hmm. there is Vaisheshika Sutras. Vaisheshika. Uh, and uh, according to scholars, uh, they were done about 600 BCE. Mm -hmm. Now, in Vaisheshika Sutras, um, Kanada comes up with the most advanced view of looking at reality, in many ways more advanced than Newton himself. Mm -hmm. Of course, he, he doesn't have uh, the law of gravitation, although mm -hmm. you know gravitation had, is something that others have also spoken about, like Bhaskaracharya. He didn't have the equation, but he did see uh, that uh, how, how we make sense of um, objects uh, in the sky is because gravitation balances out. In fact, Bhaskaracharya mentions that uh, specifically. But Kanada, to come back, mm. Kanada viewed reality as two triangles, one like the Shakti triangle, which mm. consists of Dravya, Karma, and Guna, which mm. means substance, um, motion, and the properties. Oh. So that is one triangle. And the other triangle, which is like the Shiva triangle, consists of Samanya, which is universal, Vishesha, which is particular to the person who is interacting with Prakriti, and then Samavaya, the meeting point of the observer and the observed. You know, it's most incredible. It's as advanced as can be. And this is something which is guiding the evolution of such ideas, not necessarily. Mm -hmm. People don't know about Kanada, very exactly. few do. Mm -hmm. But he also had laws of motion, Newton's laws of motion. Mm -hmm. Of the three laws, he has two in almost exactly the same verbiage. This is Vaisheshika, uh, Kanada. Uh, Kanada. Kanada has, for example, he has a law which says to every action, there's an equal reaction. Or if you let a object 
if you don't interfere with it, it'll stay or keep on moving right. without changing. So uh, the second law, F is equal to MA, he doesn't have that, but he has it in some sense indirectly and right. uh, you, can, you can sense that. So it's very, very um, contempt, uh, contemporary view of looking at reality, that mm -hmm. as far as properties of the physical universe are concerned, they should be obtained only from the study of substances, their, pro their characteristics and their motions. Mm -hmm. you know, which is, which is as, as um, relevant now mm -hmm. as it has ever been. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.